I tried to recruit people to come to Texas, and I was speaking with a great, promising young professor from another state who immediately responded with, why on earth would I want to submit myself to the state of Texas? Think tanks are supposed to be the node connecting scholars with policymakers and decision makers. There are efforts afoot here at UT to create a new institute doing research and teaching students. The initial plans include hiring some new faculty and then creating a new multidisciplinary undergraduate major in politics, philosophy, and economics. I first became aware of this when a couple of private philanthropists here in Central Texas mentioned to me their hope to see something like this started. And then when our current president, Jay Hartzell, was the dean of the business school, I knew that he had been talking to them and had an idea about maybe doing this at UT. I learned about the Institute at about the same time a speaking engagement I had at the Bullitt Texas State History Museum was canceled because the lieutenant governor considered certain elements in my book to be controversial. When I learned about the Institute in the press, I discovered that the banning of my author's talk was tied to this conservative movement to take that old-fashioned teaching of history and try to make a history education more about inculcating patriotism and pride than it is about teaching the truth. The Texas University system, these are some of the most conservative institutes of higher learning in the world. And this idea that somehow they need to be pushed to a more conservative bent has a lot more to do with control than it does education. Insofar as there's going to be any effort at our university or any other universities to have a teaching effort that includes principles of limited government, I think that's just good citizenship. I think conservatives hope that the Institute will somehow raise and indoctrinate a new generation of conservatives. I'm not worried about the future of Texas youth. I'm more worried about the waste of taxpayer money. The university is cash poor. The state gives it very, very little money in comparison to its larger budget. Every state dollar could make a difference in helping students and faculty have a higher quality of life. The state of Texas is willing to put up money for higher education, and they have the money to do it. UT certainly, even though it claims to be operating on this super lean austerity model in which workers are not paid a living wage, in which students have to take on a lot of debt, UT is choosing to fund these very specific projects. So now there's the resources, which is nice and welcome, but now we need to design and build what this will actually be and do. Faculty and students have asked President Hartzell why he devotes so much of his time and so much of our collective resources on that, and he's failed to answer it. There wasn't much more to say because it was still being designed and thought about, and still is. There's a lot I can't answer about it, and I'm on the steering committee. The fact that UT and state officials won't answer any of those questions is proof that this is going to be about politics, not about education. Frankly, I'm disappointed with donors who think that their money is better spent hiring some right-wing pundit instead of trying to better the lives of the students at the university. I generally think it's a good principle for the intent of donors to be honored in what they're giving money to. If you or an entity is a recipient of money from a donor, honor and integrity shows that you should do your best to apply those funds to what the donor had, had wanted it to go to. It seems like our president of the university, who should be serving the interests of students and faculty and all campus workers, is instead conspiring with donors and politicians to create this ideological institute. This is where 
a conservative think tank or a liberal think tank, frankly, can get out of hand is when it becomes more of a political bludgeon rather than an attempt to advance knowledge.